Hello students, welcome to MJ's chemistry classes. This is my first video on solid state chemistry. In this video, we will be discussing about solids, types of solids, crystalline solids, crystallography, crystal lattice, unit cell, lattice points, types of unit cell, basic crystal systems and previous lattices. First, let us know what are solids. As we all know, solid is a state of matter. Solids are characterized by definite shape, definite volume. They have rigidity. They have strong intermolecular forces of attraction and fixed position of constituent particles. Types of solids. There are two types of solids based on the arrangement of constituent particles. First type amorphous solids. They have short range order. They exhibit isotropy. They melt gradually over a range of temperature. That is they don't have sharp melting point. They are considered as super cooled liquids. The examples for amorphous solids are rubber, glass, plastic, gels etc. Second type is crystalline solids. They have long range order, they exhibit anisotropy, they have sharp melting point and are considered as true solids. Now let us know more about crystalline solids. If various ions, atoms or molecules constituting the solid are arranged in definite geometric pattern within the solid it is called as a crystalline solid. There are four types of crystalline solids. They are molecular solids. Examples HCl, H2O, NH3 etc. Metallic solids. Examples are iron, gold, silver etc. Ionic solids like NaCl, KCl, ZNS, etc. Covalent or network solids. The examples for such type are diamond, silicon dioxide, etc. Let us know some of the important definitions related to solid state chemistry. What is crystallography? The branch of science that deals with the study of geometry, properties and structure of crystalline substances is known as crystallography. What is crystal lattice? The regular arrangement of the constituents of a crystalline substance in three dimensions is considered as crystal lattice. What is a unit cell? The smallest portion of the arrangement of particles which when repeated in different directions that is in 3D produces the complete crystal lattice. What are lattice points? The points in a crystal lattice representing the positions of structural units which can be atoms, molecules or ions in the representative crystal. Let us know some of the terms related to crystal lattice. Crystal faces are the planar surfaces arranged on a definite plane arising due to the internal arrangement of its structural units. Cubic crystal lattice comprises of six faces as shown in the figure. You can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Edge Edge is the line of intersection formed by any two adjacent faces of a crystal. Cubic crystal lattice comprises of 12 edges as shown in the figure. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. Interfacial angle. It is the angle between the perpendiculars drawn to the two intersecting faces of a crystal. For cubic crystal lattice, the interfacial angles represented by alpha, beta and gamma. 
as shown in the figure are all 90 degree let us discuss about types of unit cell there are four types of unit cell they are simple or primitive type face centered end face centered and body centered first one simple or primitive type of unit cell in this case the particles are present only at the corners of the unit cell you can observe the particles are present only at the corners of the unit cell second type face centered particles are located at the center of each face in addition to the corners of the unit cell you can see we have the particles at the corners along with this there are six faces for unit cell at the center of each face we can observe the particles third type is end face centered unit cell in this type particles are located at the center of end faces in addition to the corners of the unit cell as we can see apart from the corners we can observe the particles on any two opposite faces fourth type is body centered in this case particles are present at the center of the unit cell in addition to the corners so along with the particles at the corners we have particle at the center of a unit cell now let us know what are unit cell parameters unit cell parameters are edge lengths a b and c and interfacial angles alpha beta and gamma in this figure you can observe edge length a b and c and the interfacial angles represented by alpha beta and gamma basic crystal systems are seven types let us know them one by one first type is cubic crystal system cell parameters are a is equal to b is equal to c alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma which is equal to 90 degree examples are nacl kcl diamond alums etc second type tetragonal crystal system cell parameters are a is equal to b but not equal to c alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma which is equal to 90 degree examples are sio2 tio2 sn etc third type orthorhombic crystal system cell parameters are a not equal to b not equal to c and alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma which is equal to 90 degree examples are kno3 k2so4 paso4 pb etc fourth type is monoclinic crystal system cell parameters are a not equal to b not equal to c and alpha is equal to gamma is equal to 90 degree but not equal to beta examples are na2so4 caso4 2h2o etc fifth type is triclinic crystal system cell parameters are a not equal to b not equal to c and alpha not equal to beta not equal to gamma not equal to 90 degree examples are cuso4 k2cr2 o7 etc sixth type is rhombohedral crystal system cell parameters are a is equal to b is equal to c alpha equal to beta equal to gamma but not equal to 90 degree examples are nano3 icl as etc seventh type is hexagonal crystal system the cell parameters are a equal to b but not equal to c alpha equal to beta equal to 90 degree but gamma is equal to 120 degree examples are hgs mg zn cd graphite ice etc now let us know about bravis lattices the detailed study of the internal structure by bravis has shown that the lattice points that is the constituent particles 
can be present not only at the corners of the unit cells but at the center of the faces or within the body of the unit cells this gives rise to different types of lattices corresponding to the seven basic crystallographic systems these 14 types of lattices are called bravais lattices let us see how we can obtain 14 bravais lattices from seven basic crystal systems cubic can form simple face centered cubic crystal lattice and body centered cubic crystal lattice totally three types tetragonal can be simple or body centered two types orthorhombic can form simple face centered edge centered and body centered total 14 types of lattices monoclinic can form simple and edge centered types that is two types triclinic only simple one type rhombohedral also simple and one type hexagonal also simple and one type let us know about these bravais lattices in detail cubic crystal systems have unit cell parameters a is equal to b is equal to c and alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma which is equal to 90 degree three types of cubic crystal systems are possible simple cubic face centered cubic and body centered cubic this figure represents simple cubic crystal lattice this represents face centered cubic crystal lattice this figure represents body centered cubic crystal lattice second basic type is tetragonal crystal systems the unit cell parameters are a is equal to b not equal to c and alpha is equal to beta equal to gamma which is equal to 90 degree there are two types of tetragonal crystal systems they are simple tetragonal and body centered tetragonal this figure represents simple tetragonal system this shows body centered tetragonal crystal system third basic type orthorhombic crystal systems the unit cell parameters are a not equal to b not equal to c and alpha equal to beta equal to gamma which is equal to 90 degree all the four types of lattices are possible in orthorhombic crystal systems this figure represents simple orthorhombic crystal system this represents face centered orthorhombic crystal system this represents end centered orthorhombic crystal system and this figure represents body centered orthorhombic crystal system fourth type monoclinic crystal systems the unit cell parameters are a not equal to b not equal to c and alpha is equal to gamma equal to 90 degree but not equal to beta two types of lattices are possible they are simple monoclinic this figure represents simple monoclinic the second type end centered monoclinic as can be seen in this figure fifth basic type is triclinic crystal system the unit cell parameters are a not equal to b not equal to c and alpha not equal to beta not equal to gamma not equal to 90 degree as well only one type is possible that is simple triclinic this figure represents simple triclinic crystal system sixth basic type is rhombohedral crystal system unit cell parameters are a equal to b equal to c and alpha equal to b equal to gamma but not equal to 90 degree only one simple type is possible this figure represents simple rhombohedral crystal system seventh type hexagonal crystal system the unit cell parameters are 
a equal to b but not equal to c alpha is equal to beta equal to 90 degree and gamma is equal to 120 degree only simple type is possible this figure represents simple hexagonal crystal system in my next video i will be explaining about symmetry elements and loss of crystallography thanks for watching